So good morning folks, it's time to leave this campsite. It worked out at £25 a night, which we didn't think was bad. And what a nice little find this was. But we can't stay here forever. We need to keep on travelling. So we were on the road and heading down the east coast towards Vieste. We'd been recommended to visit this coastal town by one of our subscribers. It sits in southeast Italy in the Gregano National Park. The drive down was quite nice, apart from the hairpin bends again. Poor old Maya van, we've certainly put her through her paces on the strip. Well, we've arrived. We haven't booked this campsite, so let's see if they can fit us in. Good morning, guys. We are in Vieste in a small campsite. There's May, and there's my washing done. This morning, free washing machines here. It's very hot. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's 25 degrees already. We are heading up to have a look at Vieste town. This is the site, it's all set amongst trees to give you some shade, which is quite nice. And we have two swimming pools, which is even better. Um, I'm shooting this on my new GoPro camera because we had a malfunction. My um, Osmo Action camera decided to overheat, can you believe in the heat? So it's um, sad to be put away and hopefully I'll get it repaired when I get back to the UK so I'm not sure how this footage will come out as I've never had a GoPro before so we will see but it says it's recording so and hopefully you'll see in this so I'm just walking through the site as you can see now and I believe Mr D oh he's down there somewhere we'll just do a quick shot of the swimming pools before we go down before they get too busy so this is the pool here, this is one, has a jacuzzi and then if you just come round here and this is the second one which belongs to the hotel, we're allowed to use it as well. So two lovely pools, beautiful flowers around as well. So time to head to town. So a nice slow meander through the grounds to the front entrance. This is the campsite. There's the beach right across there. Not a bad sized beach, is it folks? Now who would put a totem pole in the middle of the roundabout? Only the Italians by the looks of things. Right, this is the marina. We've got a bit of a heat haze at the moment. The cloud is quite low, so the sun's not broke through yet. Still coming off. Still, so it's still very warm. There's all the leisure boats. There's all the leisure boats in the uh, marina. And it looks like somebody's managed to park them at home in the car park overnight. Got a free one, well done. I'm going to walk up this way, follow Mrs. D, up this way into the old town. So we've got, this is a typical Italian street with their balconies and all their washing out. Mostly flats, isn't it? Yeah, mostly flats and, yeah. and, they're all, and they are all flat, uh, flat, bed, flat roofed as well. So we are in the town looking at the various statues and whatever they have on the town. There's a, there's a church. All the buildings in this town are, in, are white and flat roofed, amazing.
we've been told there's a strange staircase somewhere in this vicinity. So off we went to see if we could find it. And here it was, the Scala da Amor, the Stairway of Love. Rumour has it that if you walk along it together with a loved one, you will remain united forever. Hmm, let's think about that one. I'm only joking, Mr D. Change of subject. Here's the harbour. Oh, so we're having breakfast out this morning. We're having a uh, croissant and coffee. Yeah. Lattes and apricot croissant. Nice. Ah, oh, that should keep us going for a few hours. As we were walking around, we came across this small museum. It turned out it was a museum of shells and it covers four rooms. It was absolutely enormous. So we have come across a museum and it's fish and shells all stuffed. And we're just saying, look at that puffer fish up there. It's beautiful. Too many shells. <laughs> My little Gracie, you would love this place. Shells everywhere. Mr. D. They come from so many different countries. Just having a really good yeah. look around. California, South Africa, Australia, South Africa, Morocco. So many shells. Around the world, unbelievable. These are pearls I found. Coral. Conches. There's a conch in the got in the house. So many. Isn't it, Mr. D? It's unbelievable. It's great in all these shells around the world. So many. And yeah. it's free entry. And what a lovely lady on the door who said we can film. So I'm going to be honest. Everyone said come to Vies. So we're here. And up until this point, we weren't that really impressed with the architecture. However, things were about to change. Vies sits on a peninsula. And you can walk along the promenade to the very end. And this is also part of the old town. And it was absolutely beautiful. So all our reservations from before were blown away when we saw this place. Let us know what you think in the comments, whether you would visit Fiesta or not. Can you hear the bells, guys? So we've just been in this lovely little shop here which sells liqueurs, pasta, here comes Mr D. He's still standing because we've had about four free shops <laughs> yeah. and uh, we now got some pasta. Yeah. 
We're just going to tackle this big hill. <laughs> We've had our shots. Melon, pistachio, limoncello, and another one we didn't know, but really nice. Nice guy. Come and visit him. They give you free shots. So we reached the cathedral, but unfortunately it's closed. No entrance today. Shame, really. No entry after we climbed all them fucking steps. Yeah, I know, it's a shame because it's. Cathedral's always uh, nice inside, but. Yeah. But okay. Let's look at the bonus part now. We're all the way at the top. So let's go down, and it's the only way is down now. So it's all downhill from now on. Right, we stopped for a beer. We've got a local beer, local lager, um, olives. Mr. D can have them, pine crisps. You always get um, these crisp. when you order a drink. Nice? Yeah, crisp and always. Enjoy. Time to head back to the campsite. Anyone for the big wheel? Me. And that concludes VS. But let me introduce Jenny and Bert. We met them on the campsite and they too have a camper van like ours. We look forward to meeting up with them again in the future. Thanks for watching folks. See you next week.